hi guys so let's start where we have left off so we're gonna create a new component in here in our components i'm going to create a new file called to do's or just a to do.js now in here i'm going to use import react mm, yeah what's happening yeah so in here import react from react Now again, I'm going to use this uh, as a functional component. And in here, what we need, we got a to-do. We haven't get it, but we're gonna get it from to-dos list. And we're gonna return some JSX code. For now, I'm going to just use it, a div tag. And inside the div tag, just going to say this uh, to-do. And I'm going to export it. So export default to do. And in here, I'm going to save it. Yeah, I'm going to save it. And in here, we are going to give this to do that we have made a component. This props. Now I'm going to save it. As we see that we got the same result that we have seen previous, but why we have made this type of things changes? Because in here, many, many things that we have to do, like uh, that I have said in here in our actual project to do, that we have to use this X one to delete something, to edit some part, so that's why I have made a new component for this one. So let's start getting, so let's get started with this part. Now in here, what we need in here, we're gonna use it as a flex direction row. So going to styling some part. So first of all, in here, I'm going to styling and going to give a styling of display flex i'm going to give flex direction to be row uh, sorry column so it will be aligned as a column and going to give yeah, this is the only thing that we need. Yeah. So now introduce what we need. Introduce we need the same thing, but we need display to be the flex and flex direction to be row and justify content to be space between now this is what we need now in here I'm going to create a new div again and inside this div I'm going to give it the props that we have made and again I'm going to create a new div and inside this div, I'm going to give this X that you have seen. Now, I'm just going to save it and just checking in here. Okay. It got something, but it's not look styling, but that's all, that's all. And in here, what we need again. Okay. So we can do one more thing. Like uh, we can give border in here order to be one pixel solid uh, solid and giving the same color okay what's happened uh, okay now yeah and giving some padding also 
adding to be five pixel maybe. And now it's okay. Okay, good. Now that's it, or that's it what we need for now. And also whenever you ta enter this, this should be got all eliminated, right? Uh, so it will get all cleared out. So for this one, what we need in here, that whenever we this dot handle summit, this dot set state to be to do to be what to be, to do to be this. Now if we just save it and go to our code, and if we just type in, okay, happen. Mm. It's not changing. Okay. okay, okay, okay. Oh yeah. So we have to give in here value also. So if we just gave it here value, this dot state dot to do. Now if we just save it, and if we just do it again, it will be change. You can see that we it will be changed. And one thing with we have to do, we have to delete all the particular keys that we are sending in here. So for this one, what we have to do in our to do that whenever we click on this one, we have to fire some action. So we haven't made it. Okay, so in our uh, to do dot action, I'm going to create a new and say, uh, going to create a new export, export const, delete to do. I'm going to send the key, right? So that's the key through which we're going to delete it. And the type. The same is so that uh, in the reducer you can check for which action that you wanna send, and this is the payload. The payload that you're gonna use, the key part, and in here our action. Okay, in our add to do dot reducer, we need the action part. So in here our case will be delete to do and I'm going to return something return dot dot state and to do and in here I'm going to filter out the data that we need this state to do start filter as you know that's what I'm going to use and to do and giving the i as a index and in here i'm going to check for i is not equal to action dot payload this is what we need and now the second thing with what we need we're going to give some action we're going to create action right so therefore that part we need this connect keyword and we have imported it and in in here the first part is to be null because we're not needing any state we need to dispatch a uh, action so that's why we need map dispatch to props we can write any name that you want but this is a conventional way to write some name you want to uh, type in any name that you want there's no problem for that. So I'm going to use map dispatch to props and going to use dispatch. Now in here, what we need delete to do, you can also give any name that you want in here. But uh, after that, the function that you're gonna call is to be the same. So what we need, we're gonna send the key, right? So we're gonna dispatch. You're gonna dispatch this delete to do. We get from delete to do dot action. So yeah, and now in here key. Now the key that we want to get is here. So we have to send the key as a props too. 
so in our to do list i'm going to send this idx to be as a key and if you got uh, some warning in here so because this is to be a to check the react that we are sending no we are not sending some duplicate so this is a key equal to y now i'm just going to save it and in here we got idx we got delete to do as a prop as an accent to be a prop now i'm going to call it from here and going to call it delete to do and the idx and just save it and you have to write in something just type in here and if i just click on this one it will be deleted also going to give uh, this one as a styling to be cursor to be pointer so that it will be visible that what we have done so yeah so that's it if i just type in here again and again you can see if i just delete on it yeah you can see it is the pin delete here so yeah that's all so in the next video we're gonna see how can we edit this part and yeah that's all thanks